Y'all didn't know I could smoke cigars, huh? I don't typically smoke cigars, but hope everybody's doing good. Got a few Facebook people hop on. What's up, Courtney? They're hanging out on the back porch, smoking a stogie, a beautiful sunrise or sunset. I don't smoke stogies, but y'all probably didn't know I smoke stogies. I don't smoke stogies. However, today I thought I'd smoke a stogie because it was fitting, right? What's up, guys? Got a glass of Pinot Noir, too. Let's talk shop. What, what can you learn from all this, right? Right? Because a lot of crazy shit happened today. I think with Bitcoin lost, what, 40, 50% of its value today? Right? You know? Uncle Jimmy said, stunt your growth. Well, Uncle Jimmy, I'm 40 years old. If I got any more growing to do, then I got problems. I got, I got more problems than stunting my growth. But let's talk shop. Seriously, let's talk shop. You know, for years now, years, I've been having Bitcoiners hit even years now to get into Bitcoin, right? I try to understand it, right? I try to figure out what is Bitcoin? How can I profit from it? Is it a store of value? Um, can I make money off of it? And I could never wrap my mind around it, right? I could never wrap my mind around it because it was not tangible. I couldn't touch it, see it, or feel it. It didn't deliver a service. Maybe it was an exchange of, of value. That would be the only you know, value that it has, that it is an exchange of value. But the problem I had is that, you know, I'm a real estate guy. I like to see it, feel it, touch it, and, and see it, right, and smell it. And, and I couldn't do that. So that's what kept me away for years. And then when you can't tell me on top of that who, who created it, who, who, you know, where is he at? How can I talk to him? How can I watch one of his lives? Or does he have a YouTube channel and this Samoto Yakahama whatever hell his, this cat's name is, from the mountains of Japan, supposedly is mining this imaginary thing called Bitcoin that is not seeable that we can all make money on, right? And I, I couldn't understand how people were, were not seeing that this is some, I'd say, a, a scam. Let's just call it for what it is, right? And I did a Facebook Live day before yesterday, or is it Sunday? I did a Facebook Live telling you exactly what was going to happen. Exactly to the T. Oh my God, that can't be a <laughs> Big Mama, Big Mama can't, she don't like the cigar, but I'm just being stupid with you guys. You know, I was, I told you guys Sunday that I knew once the governments of the world, once the governments of the world got together and said, hey, look, call me. The governments get together and, and they're going to say, hey, look, we can't control this, right? We got to get together. We got to stop this, right? And that's what I said on my live Sunday. I said, once the we can't control this, they're going to they're gonna cut it off. And that's exactly what happened, right? Joshua says it's not trackable. Exactly. It's not trackable. And I knew that once the governments get in, it's over with. Because for one, there's going to be digital currency. Everybody said, Chris... Blockchain's the wave of the, the future, yada, yada. Yes, I agree with that. But decentralized, independent, out of the control of government, currency is never going to exist, folks. Let me tell you why. Big Mama hates when I smoke this. <laughs> you know, let me tell you why, right? Because... They have a monopoly. The governments of the world have a monopoly on force. What does that mean, Chris? Well, that means they have all the guns, the bullets, the airplanes, and the tanks, folks. And you can't do a damn thing about what you want to do or what you, how you want to say who is the, the, the money supplier, or who is going to control the, the money supply, which is the Federal Reserve, do you actually think they're going to give up their monopoly? Right? They're not going to give up their monopoly. No fucking way. You know, they fought countless wars over the past probably 150 years to, to consolidate all that power, 
to be able to control the money supply, right? Do you honestly think they're gonna just give it up? No. I've studied the Federal Reserve banking system. I've, I've studied currency. I've studied, um, you know, scams. The tulip scam, I think it was the 14th or 15th century, where they, uh, they had the big tulip uh, run and, and everybody was getting rich on fucking tulips. And that's, that's kind of what it reminds me. You, you guys want to know what Bitcoin, if you want to kind of have a corollary of what Bitcoin's doing, study the tulip bubble of the, uh, the early centuries, right? Look it up yourself. I'm not sure the exact date. And this is exactly the same shit that's going on. And if I were a uh, controversial man, and maybe, I, I probably am, I'd say this is a scam. And it was made by the elite to control your mind into thinking that there's a way out of this money supply where you can be savvy and get your money out of the control of the, the, the billionaires and trillionaires out there and that you're gonna be a big dog and do shit on your own. And they tricked you guys. They tricked a lot of you guys. So I'm not here to make anybody wrong because look, I'm the first one I'm the first one to say, hey, look, I've been scammed. I've lost a lot of money doing different businesses, you know, trying to get rich quick. And that's really what I want to allude to here <clears throat> is the get rich mentality. Folks, anything that gets rich quick is not worth doing, right? You want to get rich slow, right? You want to get rich really, really slow because then it's indestructible. It's a lot harder to, to, to destroy. Now, with that said, Richie just said something. I know someone who made 250K this year on crypto, all gambling, yes, but I'm glad he made his money and got out. Let's talk about that now. Let's talk about how you can gamble in a smart business way. Now, if you wanna do crypto, you need to be in and out, right? You need to day trade that shit, right? You need to day trade that shit Cheers, Mike. You need to day trade it and be in and out. You should not be holding crypto for months, years at a time. Buy the dips, short the highs. I knew we were at an all-time high, right? It was all, it, I knew this baby was going to pull back. That's why I made the post the past three or four days in a row saying, hey, get fucking out. This baby's at the top. You're going to lose all your money. It's a scam. Get out. And I got laughed at, all the crypto cult leaders were, you know, inboxing me saying, oh, you know what you're talking about, you real estate guy, you don't know what you're going to, you're going to lose all kind of money. Just keep doing real estate. Listen, anything that runs up that hard, that quick and gets people rich that fast is, is very um, short term, right? So if you're going to do a speculative investment like crypto dude you got to be in and out you can't stand fly won't leave me alone you got to be in and out right you got to you got to go and you got to make a calculated make a calculated risk of something that you're willing to lose and just go with that right don't go in there and try to hold that shit they got people holding fucking bitcoin for like literally years man you know and i yeah and i know guys that have been making a lot of money doing it but it's not a sustainable thing right i got a buddy of mine Real, real, he makes millions of dollars trading the futures, right? Millions of dollars. Fucking awesome at it. The guy understands the market. He understands the tops. He understands the bottoms. He knows when to get in. He knows when to get out. And, and that's his game, right? He doesn't hold speculative investments like that, right? He trades it, right? If it's going to be something that gets you a quick, you know, get rich quick scam, it's got to be in and out, right? Eric says it's absolutely sustainable if people for what it's designed for. No, abs Eric, look, I'm not, I'm not arguing with you. I, I'm all in for this decentralized currency, and I wish, I wish, I wish I could fall into the the mindset where I, you know, yeah, let's let's have that, right? But there's no way the government, there's no way the the, the governments of the world are going to let you get away with this, right? So what you need to understand is what. So I got a bad connection to have to be a good investor, right? You need to know when to get in, when to get out. And you have to time these things, right? 
right now, actually, you know, shit, you know, Bitcoin might be a good time to hurry up and try to, uh, you know, get in for a little bit just to ride a quick wave and get out. But I'm not advocating that. I'm, I'm not going to do that myself. I'm just saying, like, if you're going to do the Bitcoin thing, because I know a lot of people are going to watch this and they hate me right now because they feel like I'm bashing on the Bitcoin cult. I'm really not. I just think it's I think it's wishful thinking to get rich quick. I think it's unsustainable. I'd rather get rich slow. I'd rather buy, uh, you know, a few mobile home parks at a time, st you know, stabilize them, get them all rented out, out, you know, get that to where it's cash flow positive. And then buy another one, right? I'm not trying to get rich quick. I'm trying to get rich for sure, right? And that should be your game too. You want to get rich for sure. It's, it's, you know, my son, my older son, he's 21 years old. He came up to me, um, what is it, last week. He said, Dad, all my friends are doing this Bitcoin stuff. I think I want to do that and quit my job. I said, no, you're not. You don't need to be doing Bitcoin and quit your job. And sure enough, you know, he, was, you know, he had a little bit of money, not much. I think he was going to throw a little bit of money into it. And I was like, dude, don't you dare do that, you know. And I'm glad he didn't. He lost everything he had. You know, not the, the little bit of money he had, he, was, he would have lost, right? Do things that are hard, folks. I want, and this is the last point I'm going to touch on. Do things that are hard, not easy. The easy shit becomes easy to lose, right? Bitcoin makes a lot of money real, real quick, but it, you can lose all of it real quick. If it's easy to get, it's easy to lose. If it's hard to get, it's hard to lose, so start now, get out of this mindset of getting rich quick and do the shit that fucking works that you know, you understand, and that you can predict. I know, I know, understand, and I can predict real estate. I can't predict fucking Bitcoin. I ain't that smart. I got this funny accent. Uh, you know, I can hardly read and write. I just know how to put deals together, right? But I know that I understand that asset class and I can make money, right? Any questions? Now, if you just lost a lot of money, because I know a lot of cats that lost, this is no, this is no bashing. I'm not trying to bash people that lost money. We, listen, we're all going to lose money in business. Every I've lost, look, I lost 200 grand last year on a, you know, I'd say it's a speculative investment of, you know, investing in solar. You know, I wouldn't say it's speculative as um, Bitcoin, but I, I launched a solar panel business with a bunch of guys and we lost, we lost a lot of money, right? You're going to lose money in business. But pick and choose your battles and pick something that you can predict, right? Your biggest asset as an, as an entrepreneur is, is prediction. Can I predict what this thing is going to do? If I do A, will I get B? With crypto, you, you thinking if I do A, I'm going to get Z, right? You're going to go from A to Z and get rich, right? Overnight. Go from A to B to C to D, E, F, et cetera, et cetera. Where you can predict it and you can get rich what? Slow, right? That's the game of money, guys. Yeah, you're going to meet some guys. They got fucking filthy rich and they made a, a bet. They made you know, fucking billion dollars. This who's that guy that shorted the, the markets. But dude, you got a better shot of getting struck by lightning, right? So anyway, got a couple spots left at the mobile home park mastermind. We're going to be hanging out here at my house. Look at that sun going down right here. Hanging out by the pool and having a glass of wine. Smoking a stogie. You know, and just reflecting and enjoying life, right? And, and look, Richie just said something really, really true, right? He said, the truth sucks, but it's true. It is. There is nothing worth doing that is easy. And I know a lot of people, they end up making a lot of money real quick, but they end up losing it real quick over time. Because if, if it was easily gained or made, they won't protect it. Because your mindset is, I made this money easy. And I ain't got nothing to lose, so I'll just I'll be uh, lackluster with my investment. Let's just say you make four or five million bucks with a um, a trade with Bitcoin, or maybe you made a bunch of money. You will not value that money as much as you did, as if you got it slow, 
and you made it through, you know, brute force, pain, suffering, really good, slow, calculated investment, you will guard that money way more. Right? I ain't lying and you know I ain't lying. Jason says, let's see, 30% dips were happening long before Bitcoin was on companies' balance sheets and rich folks get involved. It's the nature of immature markets. Look at the yearly lows and there isn't a fund. Phone keeps on going out. There isn't a fund out there that outperforms it. In 11 years, Bitcoin's up from 30 cents to 30. That's exactly what I'm talking about, Jason. Look how much it went up. 30 cents to 30,000, you think that's normal? You think that's okay? That's not normal. Just like your friends, like your friends who trade. Give me one second, I'm gonna take this off of Wi-Fi. Hold on one second. All right, I shouldn't go in and out now. Just like your friend who trades, you still have to at least buy right and hopefully sell, but yeah, when rappers are advertising new cryptocurrencies and people are buying meme coins like dodge it's time to sell it was getting too stupid that's exactly right that's exactly right jason and that's what i was talking about that's why you know starting was it saturday or sunday i started making a bunch of posts i did post two or three days in a row and did a facebook live get out it's a, you're, gonna, you're gonna get hosed get out get out while you're at the top get out while you can i tried to warn as many people as i could i, I had a gut eerie feeling i had an an intuition that it was about to crash and sure enough the timing was just i just timed it right right but when it's all said and done, there's nothing wrong with that. If you got, dude, listen, good for you. If you got in and you made two, three, four million bucks with, with Bitcoin, good for you. Great. Fantastic. But you guys that held too long, don't, don't, don't learn from this, right? You never lose. You only learn, right? And that's how you got to look at certain things. You got to look at what's, what can I learn from this? Because I've lost, dude, listen. Ain't, ain't nobody here lost more money than, than, than me with malinvestment and being stupid because I'm looking, I, 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 I've made some stupid investments thinking I knew better than, than the market, thinking I knew better than, than most people th thought I knew better than my own intuition or my own gut. And I always, always lose money. And now I'm 40 years old and I'm a lot more careful, right? I take my time with investments. I analyze it and I'd rather get rich slow, folks. That's a hard, hard cigar to smoke, but it's the truth. Ain't my truth. It's just the truth of how things work, right? Jason says, Dan Pena calls it bit fucks. I can't disagree with him. Charlie Munger, Warren Buffett's right-hand man and partner, calls it rat poison. He calls it shit rat poison. Uh, who's, it, who's that other billionaire? He, he calls it trash. Um, that, that billionaire from uh, Alabama, old guy, used to be partners with um, George Soros, right? I forget his name. I'll remember it here in a second. He's not lying. I keep listening to podcasts and motivational speeches where they say God ordered you to go up the steps. All of those quick deals went down fast because he's trying to get you to build character, do something different. I lost money in that shit and I told myself to stay, to say trade that shit instead of doing what I felt was right. I left it in there. And listen, don't beat yourself up, Philip. Learn from it, right? And that's the thing. You just said something so Good right here, and this probably be the best part of this live. What you just said, I'm about to touch on. You said build character. That's exactly my friend. Exactly what it does is it builds character. Big Mama does not like me smoking stogies. Big Mama, Please don't, show don't show her. Look how listen. You still sexy. It's okay. Listen, tell me why you don't like. Sexy. Tell me why you don't like me smoking stogies. Because it's bad for you. Listen, I, I haven't smoked a stogie in years. Yeah, and we're, tell him about the last time you smoked. What's the last, what happened? You ended up in the ER with pneumonia. That was when I was smoking Listen. a bunch of weed. That okay. was different. I was okay. 20 years well, old smoking I weed. I ain't bringing you tonight. Listen, so don't even I was 20 years old having fun smoking a bunch of weed and, and partying. 
That was in my that was in my younger that was in my younger stupider days, not so uh character uh seasoned like I am now. <laughs> all right. I probably won't smoke another cigar for you guys, but look, we all do stupid shit, right? Big Mama just told you I, uh, I went to the ER when I was a young kid. I said young kid. I was 20 years old, just partying, doing a lot of drugs. I was smoking so much weed, I gave myself pneumonia, right? Yeah, I'll say it. I gave myself pneumonia. And, um, but it was a valuable lesson because it, back to um, his point, right? Back to Philip's point is it, it built what? Character. You never lose, you only learn. But you lose if you keep on making the same mistake over and over again. That's when you really, man, you just, you, you're, you're really dumb. When you, if you keep on doing the same shit over and over, then you're dumb, right? But we're all going to make mistakes, right? So learn from this. Learn next time you have something that runs up. I know a guy today that lost two hundred thousand dollars and uh you know and I, and I and it sucks and and some people are probably like chris is such an asshole he did a live about you know people lost a lot of money today and people are are hurting and he's sitting here listen i'm not here to judge anybody i'm dude i lost i lost two hundred thousand dollars last year on a, on a stupid i, I lost twenty five thousand dollars on a stupid uh investment a couple months ago right just doing something stupid i knew i shouldn't have do right i shouldn't have done so we all do stupid shit it just matters if you learn from this. So take this Bitcoin thing. I'm telling you, if I was a betting man, I know blockchain is here, but blockchain is here for the governments to start using, not for people like you and me. As soon as the U.S., which I, I'm, I'm putting money on it, I'm going to call it. The United States government is going to make Bitcoin illegal within I would say the next two to four years because they're gonna to wanna to control it. Not because, you know, they, they, they don't, they, they want it out of, you know, they want you to have more freedom. No, dude, listen, there's a lot of illusions in this country that you have freedom, dude. You have limited freedom. You have as much freedom as the government gives you. That's just a sad truth, right? And with the way the communist Marxist regime of these days is pushing down our throats more control more communism, uh, all this in socially inequi inequitable divide they're pushing that, you know, the haves versus the have-nots. You really think they're going to let a bunch of people get rich off of imaginary digital Bitcoin currency that uh, they can't even tell you who, who created it? No. So as soon as the United States... And the rest of the, and if the United States does it, the rest of the Western powers, Australia, Europe, England, Canada, South America, they're going to follow right behind. China's the first one to do it because they're going to control their own currency. They're not, you know, they, they have their own bit, version of their own Bitcoin. They're, they're doing their own digital currency. The rest of the country, or the rest of the world and the rest of the countries around it are going to start following. So before you go and say, I'm going to buy the dip because I've been seeing it, I've been seeing it all over, all over Facebook, right? Buy the dip. Do not buy that dip. That dip is going to hurt you, okay? Because you're taking a risk. If you buy that dip, that baby might go all the way down to zero, right? You're taking a risk. And, and if you ever do have another speculative investment like that, I know people that were up three, four, five, six, eight million dollars in Bitcoin. Get your shit and get the fuck out. Stop trying to time it, right? Mike says, I wonder how much stimulus money was given back to the government during the crypto crash. That's a good point, Mike. That's a great point, my brother. So... I hope, I hope this makes sense. I'm not trying to be a dick. I know I keep repeating myself, but my wife didn't want me to do this live. She says, you're going to be such a fucking asshole. So I'm going to call it a day. Keep skilling up. Try to make it to the mastermind. We've got, we've got two spots left. 
And those guys that have been, the kind of guy that invests in Bitcoin is the kind of guy that doesn't want to skill up, right? He doesn't want to put in the work. He doesn't want to learn a trade. He doesn't want to learn a skill. He doesn't want to become an expert in something to better make, because you can make money easily, but you got to become an expert, right? That's what it's going to take. So, Jason says, a lot of haters on here in the message boards today. Hey, I love them. It's all right. We have fun with them. It's all in good faith. We're all, listen, we're all here to help each other, right? We're all here to, I don't want to see nobody lose. I don't want to see anybody lose. But I don't, I don't have a filter, if you haven't noticed. I don't have a filter. I say what I think and I think what I say, right? So, all right, brother. I'll, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace.